Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I just pulled into boot camp. It's a rainy day here in Arizona. We're actually supposed to have rain all day today, rain all day tomorrow. It is barely raining right now. Just a teeny, teeny drizzle. So they decided to have boot camp outside in the tiny little drizzle of rain. So I did wear a hat just in case it decides to get a little bit more rainy outside. And hopefully we don't do a lot of things on the wet ground, but we shall see what today brings us. But I thought if boot camp is on, I'm going to be there. That's a big part for me about my word for the year of consistency. Being at boot camp three days a week for me is being consistent. So I'm here, rain or shine. I did have some of my protein coffee this morning before I left. I'll finish that up when I get home. I get asked a lot what's in my protein coffee. I actually did an entire video on it. So I'll link it down below for you if you missed it. But it's basically the same thing every day. And it's a great way for me to get in a big punch of protein first thing in the morning. We have a busy day today. I have lots of coaching calls, some things I want to share with you, a great dinner recipe, lots of good food ideas, just a really good day today. And I'm excited to share it with you. So if you're excited, thumbs up the video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching. Everything I share with you in today's video, my Facebook group, it's all down in that description box. So I am going to grab my mat, my weights, rain or shine. Let's do boot camp. I am hungry. So I'm going to make some breakfast and then put together my post-workout supplement. So I wanted to show you what I'm going to have for breakfast today. So last earlier in the week, I cooked up an entire Costco pack of the Amy Lou chicken breakfast sausages. I'll pop a picture up on the screen of what the packaging looked like. These are really, really good. Three links is 130 calories and I think like 13 grams of protein. And then because I just worked out, I like to fuel my body with some carbs. So I'm going to do one slice of the sprouted wheat multi-grain bread from Trader Joe's. I really like this bread because it's 90 calories, two grams of fiber, but five grams of protein. And then of course I'm going to add nut butter because nut butter is a great source of protein and healthy fat. I'm obsessed with the love at first bite from American Dream Nut Butter. It is like a raspberry cheesecake graham cracker nut butter. It is so good. This is one of their newest releases that they just put out limited time only. I'm going to do probably one tablespoon. It's 150 calories for two tablespoons. I usually just do one tablespoon. There's eight grams of protein, seven carbs, and 11 fat. So I'll get in four or five grams of protein as well. I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you guys with 10% off. You already know, I'm obsessed with it. So let's get breakfast going. So here's my breakfast. I have my toast with my American Dream Nut Butter, one tablespoon of the Love It First Bite. I can't recommend it enough. It is raspberry, it's chocolate, it's so good. Three of my Amy Lou sausages. But before I eat, I wanted to give you guys an update on my Lumen. I have been using this every single day, several times a day. It's been a really great way for me to not only track my metabolism, but like I mentioned when I shared Lumen with you, it's a great way for me to figure out how certain foods affect my body. So when I woke up this morning, I was a number one, which is complete fat burn. I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen where I was after my workout this morning, still in fat burn mode, which is pretty normal because I didn't have any carbohydrates before I went to boot camp. I only had half of my protein coffee. So what I want to do is I want to test before I eat because I do have some carbs in my breakfast this morning. So I went ahead and pulled up the Lumen app turn on my lumen. If you missed the video where I reviewed this, I'll link it down below for you, but we're going to use this throughout the day today just to see how the foods that we're eating affect our body. It is such good information on whether or not your body does better with carbs, better with protein, better with fats. How does your body react to certain foods? I'm going to go ahead and pop the screen recording up of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do before eating breakfast. I already, like I said, tested after my workout. I have my lumen on, so let's test. So now it's going to tell me where I am prior to eating breakfast. About an hour or so after you eat, you can test again to see where you're falling. So you can see that I'm still burning mostly fat. So I'm still reaping all of the rewards from my workout this morning. So that is very good news. So let me eat my breakfast. We'll wait about an hour and then we'll test again. 
I was just putting away a package from Cupshe. I've worked with Cupshe in the past here on my channel, and I decided to go ahead and pick up a couple of new bathing suits, a cover-up dress, and a jumpsuit. I actually needed some new bathing suits because good news, my other ones are getting too big on me, and I wanted to make sure that I had flattering, bathing suits that fit for when I go to San Diego in March and to New Orleans in April. So I thought that I would share a little cup she haul with you. So disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. I am going to be putting myself here on the internet in a couple of bathing suits. I don't want to hear it in the comments. I have loose skin. I've lost over 140 pounds and I am now becoming confident in my body where I can wear a bathing suit out in public. I'm putting myself out here to be transparent and to share my real life weight loss journey and that includes loose skin in my bathing suit. So without further ado, let me, let's jump into a little cup she haul. So like I said, I wanted to grab a couple of new bathing suits that just fit me a little bit better. So the first one that I got was this super cute black suit. I like how it has the mesh across the torso because it gives it a little bit more of a sexy vibe, but it's still a one piece bathing suit. I really like the back of it as well, how it has the strap across the back. The quality of all of the metal on the bathing suits are so nice. And the quality of the bathing suit itself is really nice as well. I'll go ahead and put the size that I ordered and the price here on the screen for you. And I will be linking cup sheet down in the description box with a discount code for you as well. Well, but this black suit is the first one. I love a good black bathing suit. And for me, just having a good black bathing suit is a staple. Now, you know, I love animal print. I mean, I'm wearing animal print today. We'll get into my outfit a little bit later. So I decided to grab this super cute leopard print one piece. Now this one is a little bit more of a deep plunge line, which we know that my back and my boob area are my problem areas due to massive weight loss and loose skin, but I feel really comfortable in this. I will say that the back of this is a little bit lower cut, which I'm not as comfortable with, but this part of the bathing suit, I do like it and it's very, very flattering. The bottom of both of these bathing suits is really flattering across the tummy area, if that's a problem for you. I still feel comfortable in this and sexy in this and I just think the style of it is so cute and again, really, really nice quality. And because I have a lot of loose skin and because I'm not 100% comfortable in my body, I love a good cover-up. Now this is seriously the cutest cover-up. It came, it comes in multiple colors. I grabbed black only because I knew that it would go with both of my bathing suits, but I love how it has the flare sleeve. It's very flattering to the figure and it ruches in at the waist. Again, very flattering. It is a little bit on the see-through side, so you can see any pattern or texture of a bathing suit, but it is a solid cover-up. I love the length of it. It covers up all the loose skin on my thighs, and I really love that it is a full coverage back, again, for my back area. So I grabbed this. I thought that this would go with any bathing suit, with both the bathing suits I grab from Cupshe and any future bathing suits that I purchase from Cupshe because the quality is unbeatable for the price. So when I first moved to Arizona, I bought a cute little spaghetti strap jumper at Ross. Well, unfortunately, I have shrunk out of that jumper. Well, really not unfortunately, actually, but I've shrunk out of that and have since taken it to my local women's shelter as a donation. So I decided to grab another full length jumper with spaghetti straps. I love a good spaghetti strap, especially for the summer. I live in Arizona. It's hot here most of the year. So this is definitely something I can wear year round. You could pair this with a cute little denim jacket or denim vest. And I love again, how it cinches in at the waist because it really just pulls in the smallest area of your body. And the looseness of this in the straight leg actually camouflages the stomach area really well. It has a full back, which again, I appreciate. And it's very, very comfortable. It actually kind of feels a little bit like pajamas, but also very, very flattering. You can dress it up or dress it down. And speaking of dress, I did decide to pick up a long sleeved dress. My neighbor and our girlfriends, we like to go sit out on the patio at local restaurants and spas and bars and enjoy live music. And it can get a little chilly, especially this time of year at night here in Arizona. So I wanted to get a dress that I could wear out with the girls or if I wanted to get a little bit more dressed up. And I made sure that even though it is sheer, it had long sleeves for those cooler nights. I love the flower pattern on this. I love the colors of this. And again, very, very flattering, perfect length to cover up any loose skin on my thighs. And I like that it has a little bit of a plunge V neckline. It's very, very flattering for the decollete area and the figure in general. I really, really love this. Again, 
really high quality. You can't beat the quality of their swimwear and all of their clothing pieces. And one more thing I wanted to share is all of the clothing in swimsuits come in these little reusable zip top bags. I love these. Love these, I take these for travel. I put my dirty socks and underwear in here, my wet bathing suits in here, my used bathing suits in here. I took four or five of these little packages with me when I went to Hawaii and they were a complete lifesaver. And all of your pieces from Cupshe come in these, so save these and reuse these. So that's a little Cupshe haul for you. I thought that you would enjoy seeing some of the pieces that I picked up. I'm really enjoying adding affordable, high quality pieces to my wardrobe as I continue to lose weight. And Cupshe, like I said, the quality is excellent and you can't beat the prices. I just finished my breakfast and I'm finishing up my 6 a.m. run and then we'll refill my Stanley water cup. Like I mentioned in last week's What I Eat In A Day, Bilt Bar sent me this for Christmas and I love this cup. It's so great because it fits in my cup holder. So I've been loving that. I've been still using my Lululemon water bottle just as much before. I use that a lot when I'm at home and I'm not going anywhere. Whenever I'm planning on going out, I'll use my Stanley cup because like I said, it fits in my cup holder. I get a lot of questions on my water bottle, my cup. I'll link them both down below for you. So it's been about an hour since I ate breakfast and we're gonna go ahead and test with the lumen so I am going to go ahead and pick after eating breakfast was the meal turn on the lumen I need to charge this I'll be putting this on the charger tonight for sure I have not charged this since I got it it's been about two weeks so the charge lasts a long time So let's see where we are after eating a breakfast that consisted of carbs and protein. So now we're burning both carbs and fats, which makes perfect sense because I had the toast with the peanut butter and the sausage. So Lumen is right on the money. I absolutely am obsessed with this. It's been a big game changer for me. So I am headed to Dunkin' to get a coffee. Like I mentioned, if you order ahead on Mondays, you actually get 100 points, which is one-seventh of a free drink, but at least gets you a little bit closer. I don't know if you guys can see or hear, but it has been raining all day. Supposedly, it's going to rain all day today, all day tomorrow, which is weird for Arizona. This does not happen really ever unless it's monsoon season. So I'm surprised that it's gonna rain, but I mean, we always, always can use the rain. Troy decided he wanted donuts as well. So I went ahead and ordered half a dozen or six donuts. I don't know that I'll eat a donut today. I don't know, I might, we'll see. But I thought that we would have donuts on hand. That's one great thing about healing my relationship with food is I can have those types of things in my house and not eat them all in one day and maybe not even have one the first day that I pick them up. So that's been a really good thing about this healed relationship with food. So I thought that I would get a six pack because it was just a couple dollars more than buying three individual donuts. So I went ahead and did six donuts and a coffee, but I wanted to share my sweatshirt with you guys. So I got this sweatshirt off of Amazon. I love leopard print as you know, and it popped up on, you know, Amazon thinks you would enjoy this. And of course I was like, I need it. I will let you know that it comes in multiple colors, multiple patterns. You don't have to get the leopard. I'll pop a picture in of me wearing the sweatshirt. It is so soft and so comfortable. It's a little bit thinner material than like a big thick hoodie. So it's perfect for spring, fall, and for me for winter here in Arizona because it doesn't get super, super cold here. So I love it. It is the perfect length. I love the little button design right here. It is so cute. It has a hood. It's adorable. So I'll link it down below for you guys. I'm wearing the Huda Beauty Jaguar eyeshadow palette. I've been really trying to use some of my older palettes instead of just gravitating towards my favorite palettes because that's generally what I do. So I'm wearing that. I'll link that for you guys as well. And then I've gotten a couple comments and a couple of people reaching out asking me for an update on my Teddy Blake handbag. I had shared it with you guys a long time ago in a video that I had 
treated myself to an Italian leather handbag at an affordable price from the brand Teddy Blake. So I wanted to give you guys an update on my handbag. How is it wearing? Am I still enjoying it? Because it's the perfect time because Teddy Blake is having a huge sale. I'll put all the sale information here on the screen for you, but you can get enough an Italian leather handbag at an affordable price. We're not talking thousands of dollars for a handbag. I also have a discount with Teddy Blake, so I'll link all of that for you guys as well. I own a couple of their handbags and the quality, you can't beat it. I mean, the quality is absolutely exceptional. I mean, it's Italian leather, and I just love that I don't have to spend thousands of dollars on an Intel Italian leather handbag. For me, I am more about functionality, quality, and how long is my handbag going to last versus name brands or fancy brands. Brands. That's what I love about Teddy Blake is you get such a high quality product and you don't have to pay those crazy high end prices. So this is my bag. I absolutely love it. I'll insert some footage here of my bag close up. That way you can see my handbag close up. I'll show you how big it is on the inside. I absolutely love it. I love the two small zippers across the top for extra storage. It has a huge opening. I can put everything in here. My wallet, my little makeup bag, my phone it does come with a strap. If you want to wear it on the shoulder or the hand or the handles, I typically just carry mine by the handles. I love the cognac brown color. And like I said, the quality is exceptional. I've had this bag now for at least six months and it looks brand new and I love it. I use it. It's the only handbag that I use and I've really, really enjoyed it. So I thought that I would share it with you, give you an update let you know that I'm still loving it even more than when I first got it. And then of course, fill you in on the amazing deals that Teddy Blake has going on right now. So head on over to their website, check them out. Like I said, Italian leather handbags at an affordable price. Yes, please. So I got my coffee and as soon as he handed it to me, I thought, that looks awfully light because I always get an extra shot of espresso and it's typically way darker. It's not very good. It's not very coffee-y. I actually don't even really taste any of the flavoring. I feel like with Dunkin' it's hit and miss. Let me know if it's hit and miss in your area too. Um, I did get six donuts. Let me flip you around and show you those. So there are the donuts. I did a vanilla, a strawberry, a jelly filled, and three maple. Maple is Troy's favorite. I don't know that I'm going to have a donut. I'll put up here on the screen if I decide to have one or not. And of course, we'll just track it and move on. Boy, get Palmer. Get him. Get Palmer. Yeah, get Palmer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Palmer, can I see you up? Yeah. Get him, Lola. Get him. Get Palmer. Palmer, be nice to your big brother. Palmer. Palmer, are you crazy? Yes, are you crazy? Hi, Lola. Palmer, your bark box is coming today. Oh, are you excited? <laughs> So I'm going to put together some lunch. I have some of the shredded chicken left over from Sprouts. I'm gonna weigh out about two and a half ounces because I think that's all that's going to fit in my wrap. So I'm going to use one of these La Banderita carb counter snack size wraps. They're only 35 calories a piece. They're the perfect size. I'm going to put one Laughing Cow cheese and then of course some of my no sugar added bread and butter pickles and we'll roll all of that up in the wrap. And then I bought this roasted red pepper hummus at Sam's Club. I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm gonna dig into that. I'm going to have some hummus and some of the little baby peppers that I bought in last week's grocery haul. These are so good. I'm so glad that I picked them up. So I'm gonna put together my lunch. I'll be back to show you what I'm having. We'll go over points, calories, and macros. So here is my lunch. So here is the wrap. This looks really good. I just weighed everything out on my food scale, the chicken and the hummus. So I have two tablespoons of hummus, some of the baby peppers. Everything is on my Uba home plate. I share this with you guys a lot because I love these. These are pre-portioned plates, bowls, to-go containers. They have everything for healthy, successful weight loss. So I'll link Uba home down below with the discount code for you. Like I said, I love my plate. If you're someone who doesn't like your food to touch, you'll also love these plates because they keep everything separate. So this is going to be today's lunch. So I just ordered some farm fresh eggs. Look how pretty they are. My boot camp instructor told me about a lady who sells them for $5 a dozen and delivers to your doorstep. So I ordered three dozen eggs and I'm so excited. There's really pretty blue ones and green. We're gonna have yummy farm fresh eggs all week. All right, afternoon snack time. We're gonna test out a new protein powder. I bought this a few weeks ago and I haven't tried it yet. It is the vegan protein from Sprouts. There's 20 grams of protein, five carbs, 
three grams of fat, 120 calories, and I have mine in salted caramel. Now I've heard rave reviews about this. Someone in my boot camp group was saying that this is much easier to digest than whey or casein. So if you struggle with digestion of those two proteins, this may be the ticket for you. It smells really, really delicious. So let me pull out my Fairlife milk. I grabbed my magic bullet out and I think I'm gonna throw in a half of a banana for the ice of my protein shake as well as some healthy carbs to add to it and it'll give it a little bit of extra sweetness. So I get asked all the time about weighing and measuring. So we're going to measure our liquid out in fluid ounces. So I'm looking for one cup of Fairlife milk, 13 grams of protein. So I'm gonna measure out eight fluid ounces. Everything else I typically measure in grams. Sometimes I'll measure meat in ounces, not fluid ounces, but ounces. But I always, always measure liquid in fluid ounces. Let's pop in that protein powder. Like I said, it smells really caramely and yummy. And this is a vegan protein. I don't know if I mentioned that. So that's really exciting if it tastes good. Half of a banana, a lot of vegetarian, vegan protein, plant-based protein is chalky and I don't love it. So I'm really hoping that that is not the case with this one. All right, let's taste this. I have high hopes. I have high hopes for it. it smells so good. Wow. This is good. I definitely taste salted caramel. You know how sometimes when you get salted caramel things and it just tastes like caramel? This one definitely has the salted caramel vibe to it, which I really, really like. It is a little bit plant-based protein-y. A little bit. It has that little bit of a kind of grit of plant-based protein. Not terrible, definitely drinkable. One of the better plant-based proteins that I've tried. This is something that's definitely on my radar, especially if I want some fun flavors or a vegan or plant-based protein. Definitely a winner. Inhale deeply through your lemon. Hold your breath. Exhale in three, two, one. So this is here for the little turd. He's already at my feet, so we're gonna unbox it quickly. The theme for the Bark Box is the Playlene, Playlene? Playlene, it looks like an alien theme. Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> so this little alien guy says, take me to your dog. I was gonna show Troy so he can pick out whatever one we wanna give to Palmer. He's gonna have a heyday shredding the head of that one. And then we have this cute little UFO that has a tennis ball on one side and a baseball on the other. Um, you need to be patient, just a minute. And then we've got a couple bags of treats as always, gobble, turkey recipe treats, and then, oh, same. Oh, one's jerky and one is soft treats. And then, oh, we have a different stick this time. We have a beef stick. And then here's all the other toys that you could have got in your box. So we have to decide if we want Take Me To Your Dog or the UFO. Which would you like to give Palmer? Just a sec, don't, don't do it yet. So I'm going to give the dogs the stick in the box. So there's for you. Oh, you dropped your UFO for this, huh? Good job, Lola. For dinner tonight, I'm making taco lasagna. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be super simple and a great busy weeknight or weekend dinner. So let me show you what you'll need. You'll need one cup of cheese. I went ahead and just shredded some light mozzarella cheese. I'm trying to use up everything we have on hand. So I used up the block of mozzarella that I had. You'll need some low carb tortillas. I have the small little La Banderita ones, 96% extra lean ground beef, taco seasoning, Sour cream, we are completely out. So I'm going to use cottage cheese. That's going to be a great substitution. Even add a little bit of protein in. I'm also out of not that Greek yogurt. 
We're going to Costco this week, so we'll be get, doing a big stock up grocery haul and getting things back to normal around here. You'll need a can of Rotel and a can of Healthy Request cheddar cheese soup. The first thing I'm going to do is get my pound of ground beef cooking on the stove. We want to get it cooked all the way through and drain any grease. While your ground beef is cooking into a medium bowl, we're going to add our can of Rotel, the can of the cheddar cheese soup mix, and about a quarter cup of cottage cheese or sour cream. Give that a mix until everything is fully combined. One note about cottage cheese, if you don't like it because of the texture and it having curds, it melts down just like regular cheese. So it'll melt down similar to cheese in this recipe. If you throw it into eggs, it becomes stringy like regular cheese. So you can still get in all the protein and health benefits of cottage cheese without the curds if that's the texture that bothers you. I'm going to add a little bit of taco seasoning to the mix. The original recipe actually called for the nacho cheese soup, but I wanted to get the healthy request just because it's less points, less fat, less calories. So I'm going to basically make my own nacho soup by adding in just a little bit of taco seasoning. Once your ground beef is cooked down and there's no grease with 96%, all the grease cooks out, we're going to add about a packet worth of taco seasoning quarter cup of water, and then mix that together. Let it cook down, simmer on the stove for a couple minutes just to get all those flavors melded, and then we're ready to assemble the taco lasagna. So I have a six by nine baking dish sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to layer about three tortillas on the bottom of the baking dish. We're going to top that with about a third of the meat mixture. We're doing three layers for our taco lasagna. Then we're going to add one third of the cheese mixture and repeat until we have three layers total. And then we're going to top it with our one cup of shredded cheese. You could use a light Mexican blend. You can really use any cheese. Like I said, I would have used a light Mexican blend, but I wanted to use the block of light mozzarella that I had in the refrigerator. I always like to really go through my refrigerator and kind of do a clean out and use things up before I make a big Costco run. This looks incredible. It's going into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes or until it's all cheesy and melty and bubbly. So I just pulled the taco lasagna out of the oven. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. I did grab one of these little individual guacamole cups out of my fridge. I'm gonna split that between, between both Troy and I's portion Eight servings per container. Let me cut this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, so here is dinner. This looks amazing. I split that guacamole cup. Again, eight servings. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you, but you're getting lots of protein, healthy carbohydrates, and then you can add some sour cream, cilantro, guacamole, whatever you would like. For my dessert tonight, I'm actually craving yogurt, so I'm gonna do the Oikos Triple Zero. This is the mixed berry yogurt. And then I have some, this might be the Good and Gather pumpkin spice granola. It's not very pumpkin-y. Whatever granola I have on hand, I add 30 grams to the top of my yogurt. This is going to give me 15 grams of protein. I'll get in some carbs with the granola. It also adds a really good texture. I go between freeze-dried fruit and granola generally, and today, for some reason, granola sounds good. So this is going to end out my day for dessert. It's after dessert. I just finished my Oikos Greek yogurt and granola. So I like to see kind of where I am before I go to bed, and then that's a good measurement of where I am when I wake up in the morning. Like I said, I've been loving this. You guys have been asking lots and lots of questions. In fact, a lot of you have picked this up. It's really been so incredibly fantastic for just tracking my metabolism, tracking how different foods affect my metabolism. Also working out versus not working out the types of workouts. It's really, really interesting. And in my opinion, just a really valuable tool for a healthy lifestyle, for weight loss. I really can't recommend it enough. I've been pretty obsessed with it since I got it. They are having some yearly promotions. I will link all of the information on Lumen down below for you. It's the new year. Do yourself a favor. Grab this to pay special attention to your metabolism and again, how the foods and activity affect it. Me and my Lumen, we're pretty much besties.
you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the food that I ate. We treated ourselves today. We had an amazing dinner recipe update on my purse, all sorts of great information. I will put everything I shared with you down in the description box down below, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Also, tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website. That'll be down in the description box as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.